Okay, good morning. Today we'll talk one uh, of the um, complex PCIs, how the technique for um, uh, opening CTO um, from radial axis, technique of uh, using guideliner, and how sometimes you have to fix the proximal segment first. Um, this is um, 85 year old. Uh, presented electively with um, abnormal stress tests. Never had cath before, and um, uh, he had shortness of breath. He doesn't have chest pain. Um, you see here the RCA, this is radial axis, the RCA occluded here. This is the CTO segment from here to here. You see some flow. If uh, this patient, of course, came in with acute, you're gonna assume this is a clot, but um, uh, he had been admitted elective admission for abnormal stress test. Um, there is relatively good area here for the guide. If you see, there is blockage diffuse all over and um, we're gonna see how we're gonna support the wire to pass through. Now, here's the left angiogram. Diseased LID here and here. Circ as well, but you see the collaterals feeding the RCA. Okay. Now, first trick, you have to make your own strategy for each case. Use supportive guide. In this case was XBRCA. You see the tip of the guide here. You're gonna expect some damping or ventricularization of pressure. So first a trick in this case, you might sometimes fix this area before you continue. Now I don't have ventricularization of the pressure in this case. So this is run through, always supported with short balloon to pass it through. Next. Here you see the short balloon. 2012 to allow the wire spinning and go to the right cap. Now you have to be careful here. Once you arrive here, make sure you don't go to false lumen. So you have to take pictures in different projections. You see again here there is area to support the guide. In this case the wire did not pass through because of those blockages. So I have to dilate from here to here. Dilation, high pressure. Now, once we dilate, <clears throat> I have to use small, smaller balloon from 201 to 1.25. This is 1.25, this is the dot, one dot always. 1.25, 1.5 balloons, they have one dot. 20 and above two dots. Okay, see now the wire better here. And then you spin slowly advance the balloon slowly and spin slowly and take different picture till you make sure you're in the true lumen that's a trick see here now wire passed that's the most important part you see the wire in the true lumen and there is buckle in the wire here that confirm it is in the true lumen 
once the wire buckle here see it's in the true lumen yet don't balloon in this area till you make sure it is 100% in the true lumen this is the wire this is the balloon 1.5 did not pass it through I have to go to 1.25 to pass that area and you see now <clears throat> a little bit better now 1.25 did not pass it through this area which is again the CTL area what are you gonna do you already have the wire the trick here sometimes you have to support with guide liner Putting guide liner here will damp the pressure, you'll have problems. That section, the area, that, that section can go to Austin. So fix from here to here with this tent. You seal the area, no more dissection. Then advance the guide liner. Again, fix from here to here. Seal the area, then put the guide liner in this area in this segment, fat segment, and that balloon will go. Ballooning first, this is the tip of the guide liner. Once you balloon and then put stent in that area, make sure before you pull the balloon of the stent, deflate and advance the guide liner. Deflate and advance the guide liner over the balloon. Do not put or do not pull the balloon without advancing the guide liner. Otherwise, the guide liner tip will stuck on the struts. So you deflate, you pull a little bit, advance the guide liner, guide liner over the balloon, and then place it here. The guide liner now. Here, the stent, this area sealed. See? You have good area here now. The guide liner safe to be here. Now you advance the 1.25 or 1.5 balloon and that's went to through now. Inflation all over, then upgrade after that. Upgrade the balloon to 2.0. This is 2.0 balloon. Then make sure always the guide liner tip here then stand the area now we're stenting the area we overlapping with the prior stent high pressure again pull the balloon inflate the overlap area also high pressure see we pull the guide here then swallow again the guide liner this is final You have nice flow. Different projection. You have nice diary flux. Of course, those cases in take longer. Sometimes um, if you have more time, you do dilation post. Always do post dilation with non-compliant. Um, this case took it's 16 minutes, which is relatively very good timing for floral with 1200 milligray only. Okay, thank you very much. We'll go for um, uh, different cases, different time.